Okay, Miguel team, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. It has been a wild few days for Bitcoin. We have seen a steep correction underneath the range low of this horizontal consolidation, followed by a very aggressive spot-driven rally back up near to the range high. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing what is likely to occur next, whether or not Bitcoin is going to move up into that $64,000 region and what the key levels are you should be paying attention to. We'll also be going over the macro charts, the four year cycle and the total altcoin market cap. Before you get into it, smash that like button, hit that con button, and subscribe to the channel. We post daily videos of Bitcoin focusing on the facts the data, the technical, and the structural information. No hype, no BS, no emotion, pure raw TA. If that is the kind of content you are interested in, join us on Telegram. It is the first link down below. You will get access to charts, updates, videos, educational posts, news events, and everything you need to stay in the loop with cryptocurrency, with Bitcoin, and the relevant economic news. And if you were interested in taking your trading to the next level, you can join us in VIP. We post trading setups with exact entry prices, exact targets, exact stop losses, trade justification, exclusive analysis, and so, so much more. You'll also go ahead and get access to all of our group chats our general chat, our trading chart and education chat, our daily video help, news and trade setup chat. If you were interested in joining that, go ahead and contact me in the pinned comment of the free channel by clicking my name or these links. You can find out more information by clicking links, again, to our trading track record and a video showing you inside VIP. Check it out, guys, and let's dive on in. So as we can see, Bitcoin unfortunately had a much larger fake out toward the downside over here of the range low than expected. This was actually quite a considerable correction under around 1.6%, which is by no means a small drop. Since then, we saw a spot driven rally toward the upside with open interest falling more or less the entire way upwards and Bitcoin climbing towards 63.2K. Currently sitting at 63.2K, Bitcoin is forming what it does appear to be a rising wedge formation on the short term with falling momentum. So we do have the possibility for Bitcoin to see a exhaustion before we move up into that 64,000 range, which we'll be discussing in the video today. We'll also be going over, of course, the daily charts as we have managed to save ourselves from a potential steeper correction to 57,000 as of right now, of course, with that daily RSI closing above that trend line as represented by this bounce, which we discussed in our prior video as a massive warning sign. We thankfully were able to close above that RSI again, suggesting that momentum did not in fact flip negative and we were able to keep the uptrend going. So that is a good sign for Bitcoin. We'll be discussing this chart today. We'll also be going over, like we've mentioned, the total cryptocurrency and total altcoin market cap as we are potentially seeing a weekly bounce on that macro downtrend which means altcoins may be priming for a potential bullish move at some point during the next four weeks again a lot, lot to get into guys let's start on the market data 24 hour volume keep it nice and quick down 32 percent at 81 million 81 billion very very low weekend super low volume 24 hour liquidations down 33 percent 77 million in total, 25 million coming from longs, 51 million coming from shorts. The DXY, not too much movement over here. Again, we are expecting a bit of a range, a bit of a chop in this current region. Potential moves up to 104 to get that change of character before we then see a rejection back down. The key levels we are really watching over here are mainly going to be this really long downtrend and our one and a half year long support at 100. A loss of 99 to 100 is going to be the confirmation we need for a macro correction down to 96, 95. This is very, very bullish for risk assets. And the S&P 500 is looking fantastic. Closing a weekly candle at 5,859 on a absolute rampage, guys. Moving toward the upside, gaining strength as it moves. We are still looking for 6,000. We have been saying 6,000 for a very long time. Ever since we had this breakout over here, we have been looking for 6,000 and we are almost there. So it's been a good ride, but we're getting very, very close to that bullish target. Moving on guys, looking at the S&P 5 one more time, for us to turn bearish on the macro, 
Very simply, we need to lose the yearly low. For us to turn bearish on the short term, very simply, we need to lose the weekly high. That is it. Until then, expect continuations. Let's go ahead and jump into Bitcoin. Before we do, go ahead and sign up to any of the exchanges, BitGet, BitUnix or BingX. You'll get a lifetime trading fee discount of 15%. That has saved me well over six figures in my trading career. You can, of course, sign up to get that discount yourself and help yourself support the channel support me and support the videos and your trading journey go ahead and sign up down below we'll play your ad and we'll jump back in i'd like to introduce our partner bitunix bitunix is a global non-kyc no country restriction exchange making it a perfect exchange to trade on if you're from the usa from canada the netherlands or just prefer to trade without kyc this exchange is a futures and spot exchange with over 200 different trading pairs and some of the lowest fees in the game. If you sign up with my link down below, you'll get access to 15% off your trading fees as well as an exclusive reward center where you can claim up to a multitude in USDT prizes. So go ahead and sign up with my link down below for 15% off and I'll see you in there. Okay team, let's go ahead and get stuck back into it. So we're going to try to keep today's video nice and short because again, it is the weekend. There's not a lot of movement. There's a fair, fairly low volume. So let's just get stuck into it. As we can see, Bitcoin is still very much within the confines of this range. And while we remain in this range, I'm always going to refer you back to that major post we made on telegram discussing the weekly levels and this is going to be on the telegram channel again you can join up to telegram channel for free first link down below i want you to read this post because while we remain within this channel these weekly levels are going to be incredibly important and these weekly levels specifically at around about 65,585 that is going to be our first key level we also have another key level at 63,560 which if you do take a look at the charts we basically came up and got very close to retesting these levels on the weekly chart are of utmost significance because breakouts and closes above these key levels will mark shifts in the trend at least the trend that was developing as a consequence of this bearish engulfing candle to mark these levels out really really quickly we have got our opening price of the red candle and we have got the opening price of the prior green candle the bearish engulfing price okay so again a weekly candle close above this high is going to mark a continuation in the trend that is simply what it means it indicates a continuation in the trend and as a consequence of that weekly close we would expect a macro continuation to retest this 200 and now 28 day long macro downtrend very bullish stuff and now a weekly candle close above or below this level would determine whether or not we see continuations lower or moves into that range high and that is why this is going to be marked as a weekly trigger point so while we remain underneath this weekly level this horizontal we do pose the risk of a correction back down that simply means while we remain under the level we do have the risk of breaking below this range low and while we are above that level it is much more likely we see continuations to that 65 66 region then it is then we break down so that is why those weekly levels are of utmost significance so taking a look back at this range let's just go ahead and rewind all of that stuff for later coming back to this range over here we can see bitcoin has had a pretty good rally if you watched our prior video you would have known that we said that our hourly candle close below the trend line would likely result in a steeper correction now that didn't quite play out because we did not see momentum flip negative so we remember when we look for directional continuations we look for trend right we look for structure we look for strength in the instance of strength, in uh, sorry, in the instance of structure, we had the breakdown. In the instance of trend, we were in a downtrend. In the instance instance of strength, we did not have that negative shift. So we did not have all three of the three validations. Therefore, it was an increased probability that that move was going to be a fake out. Unfortunately, it did drop quite low, but it was still a fake out nevertheless. We eventually saw the price build back upwards to break through that downtrend we discussed. And we told you guys, if we see that downtrend break, it is highly likely we are going to see a move back up to 62,000 potentially even toward that range high which is currently developing as we speak now 
as we are in a horizontal consolidation, almost everything that has been priorly discussed is still relevant. For us to see continuations, we need to break above the monthly open. For us to see continuations down, we need to break below the monthly low. For Bitcoin to see a continuation upwards to 66,000, which is the next point of resistance, the monthly open needs to break. And for Bitcoin to see a continuation downwards into 58 to 57, this is going to be our major support, the monthly low needs to break. And until that happens, we are going to be bouncing between the range high, which is the monthly high, the monthly open, and the monthly low, which is the range low. Until then, we are in a neutral consolidation. So what is happening on the short term? On the short term, we can see momentum is starting to drop and we are starting to develop a potential rising wedge formation. A rising wedge formation is a, is a expression of exhaustion and generally is going to be resulting in a short term correction. Now the depth of the correction is taken from the high to the low, so 0.1 to 0.2 and applied to the breakdown point and that would be measuring no deeper than the POC or the midline of the channel. Now remember, when we are above the midline, the probabilities are still in favor for continuations into the range high and therefore no matter what happens on the short term, we are still expecting an eventual move into 64,000 as opposed for a correction back into these lows because again <clears throat> we have the trend on our side we are an uptrend we have got the strength on our side we are again on the higher time frame of the daily we have positive momentum and of course if we look at the overall structure this is going to be a neutral consolidation above the midline which increases the likelihood of a range high retest so the probabilities are in favor of a 64k retest or at least a 63.5k which is going to be a weekly low of the prior weekly green candle however we can see that exhaustion developing which leads me to believe there is a risk we first see a correction back to the midline before we then see a continuation upwards that is what we're going to be watching out for today. Now there is a possibility we do not see the correction. There is a chance that this developing exhaustion invalidates of course. Um, now that is something that would go against what the TA is suggesting <clears throat> but we do have to be aware of that possibility. So for that to be a thing we would want to see a breakout of this high point we're looking at this weak high. A break of this weak high would need to occur first and an establishment of a new support at this horizontal level, turning this into an ascending triangle formation. Remember, patterns can shift as they develop. So at the moment, if we break this trend line, expect that rising wedge to play out and the price action to correct back into that 200 moving average, back into that dotted trend line, back into that POC. But if we do see this trend line establish and hold, again, eventually that trend is going to meet with 64K. So provided that trajectory of the price action continues, we are expecting 64K in either scenario. So that is the short term price action guys. I'm not too worried. In fact, it is very, very bullish. I'd only be concerned for Bitcoin if we see that RSI break. And the reason again, if we see that RSI break, it is highly likely we lose the 200 moving average on the daily, the dotted trend line on a daily, and of gain negative momentum will likely take Bitcoin back to 57. That is the worrying scenario, but it isn't too likely as of right now. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. I guess the good thing is Bitcoin is likely to continue higher. The bad thing is if we do see a little bit of a pullback, it could actually develop into quite a steep correction, which will flush out a whole bunch of liquidity from the market. Moving over to that daily chart, we can see again, we are in a descending channel formation. I don't know how many times I've said this now, maybe at least 100, but a descending channel formation is a bullish pattern. It is inherently bullish, meaning the probabilities, if you took a 100 descending channel formation, uh, 100 descending channel structures and you just put them side by side more often than not around 70% of the time we are going to see breaks toward the upside and then breaks toward the downside is statistically in favor of continuations upwards as a consequence of what the structure represents so remember a structure is not just a shape the price moves in specific manners as a consequence of buyers and the sellers decisions over a course of time a descending channel structure represents selling exhaustion over a period of time and eventually what we are starting to see on the weekly buyers stepping in at a greater amount than the sellers are able to push the price downwards resulting in exhaustion on the beh on behalf of the bears 
and again strength developing in half of the bulls and that eventually that strength spills over over and we see that breakout toward the upside so in this instance, I am still macro bullish, and I've said that already. Until this channel breaks downwards, I am going to remain macro bullish. If we lose this channel, and this channel breaks down, then I am bearish. But until that happens, I expect an eventual continuation upwards. I do expect this downtrend to eventually break. When will it happen? Who the hell knows, right? This has been a 228 day long uh, consolidation. This has been the longest consolidation in the history of Bitcoin by two days. Now, if you told me we were going to enter a 228 day consolidation back over here, I would have probably laughed. And I think most people would have probably laughed as well because an, a, the longest consolidation ever occurring is quite a stretch to predict. But nevertheless, we are in this consolidation. We've been aware of this consolidation ever since around about over here. And we are saying still from that point, for us to see a continuation upwards, we need to break through the range high. At the moment, we have failed on every single attempt. But this time is literally different. And the reason this time is different is because this would be the first attempt of a breakout if we were to retest it from a position of positive momentum. If we take a look, prior retests, all of these retests, we had negative momentum. They all happened as the RSI is in a downtrend. The RSI is now in a uptrend for the first time in this 228 day period. Therefore, if we retest it again, we might have a slightly better chance of actually breaking through. And that is why I'm expecting that to occur. Moving over to the total, and then we will wrap up the video. The total market cap for altcoins is bouncing off its major weekly downtrend. This could be a sign that a reversal is developing for altcoins. Um, again, I take that with a grain of salt. There are plenty of altcoins I am watching that do appear to be bottoming out, do appear to be holding horizontal supports now at the low, so around two to three months. That could potentially act as a nice invalidation point for continuations upwards, of course, with tight stop losses below those invalidations, which could act as a launch pad if the total actually starts to move. Bitcoin dominance still in resistance, basically doing nothing now since July. Keep your eye closely on that. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a fantastic day. Catch you in tomorrow's one. See you then.